Hello. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, let me give you a 10 second recap of my entire life. Man wake up, man want to make game, man go learn how to make game, man now five years into game development and still doesn't have anything to show for it. Welcome, my name's Randy, how you doing? All right, what are we going to be doing today? What are we, but, <laughs> I can't even speak, dude. What are we gonna be doing today? Hey, hey. Well, I'll tell you what, yesterday, what we did is finally solve the issue of being able to snap a bone to the mouse position, right? So then with that, what I can do is basically just do an IK solution. This is the end effect though, like the target position that we wanna get. For those of you who don't know what IK is, it's called inverse kinematics. And it basically means that this little bone right here, wherever we move this, and then we select the stop bone, I'm pointing to the screen like you guys can see my fucking fingers right now. <laughs> so this will be the stop bone up here, and this will be the end bone down here. And then wherever I move the end bone, all the other bones along here automatically and just kind of like snap into position right and just ignore the fact that there's four bones here it should be two but i'm just doing it for debug purposes so we're gonna be doing fabric today actually doing some ik calculations maybe we'll see how we go right that's the plan for today though to make a start on ik and hope to get something going i'm gonna have to do some matrix math and i'm really not looking forward to it <laughs> god damn it well there's really only one way to start this and it's just by goddamn starting before we start though i woke up at about 10 a.m. this morning. I went to bed at 10 p.m. Therefore, I slept 12 hours. That's not very healthy, nor ideal. But for some reason, whenever my alarm goes up in the morning, I just fucking turn it off and I flop back into bed and then I just keep sleeping. I don't know how to motivate myself to get out of bed. Ever since I've quit caffeine, it's no longer, oh, I'm getting out of bed because now I can go put on my cup of coffee. It's like, wow, I'm getting out of bed to start a really hard problem today. Boy, I can't wait to do some matrix math. <laughs> I need something. I don't know what that is. You guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I got a physical alarm clock that worked for a little bit. I put it on the other side of my room. It forced me to get up out of bed and turn it off. But now I just get up out of bed, turn it off and fall back into bed. <laughs> Maybe I should start eating breakfast and then look forward to the breakfast, like a really yummy breakfast. That could work. That's worked in the past, you know. Originally what I'd do is I'd wake up, I'd go on my phone straight away and that would keep me awake long enough to eventually roll out of bed about an hour later. But now I just don't have my phone in my room. So I just wake up and I'm like, all right, time to get up. And then I just fall back asleep. You see, all right, here's my current issue. All of these joints aren't actually matrices. They're stored as translations and rotations. And in something that is called, basically it's just a transform, right? And it stores VEC3 translation, VEC4 rotation. So we've got translation and rotation, but they're each separate, right? They're not actually stored as a matrix. So now, say we had a bunch of bones. So we had all of these bones. Each of them have their own translation and rotation. Can we add these translations together and the rotations together somehow? and still get the correct chain all the way down. But do we have to put them into matrices and then multiply those matrices? I don't know. I think surely you could just add the translations together and then do something with the rotations as well. How do you blend two quaternions together? I don't know. Well, let's find out, I guess. Okay, so scrap that idea. I really don't think you can take a bunch of positions and rotations and individually add them together to get an entire chain. It just wouldn't make sense. You don't do all your translations, do all your rotations, and then you're just magically there. I don't think that's how it works. So I think we have to do it with matrices in order to actually get the right position. But then I'm thinking we just take that, since we're now in model space, we take that matrix and we just convert it back into just a translation. It'd be so much easier if all these were stored as matrices and I was just forced to do it that way, but they're not. It's sort of transforms. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take this, put this just up here. So that gives us the screen back. That's basically the end effector position. Yep, so we could put it into a matrix that essentially will be the end effector. Cool. So I'm making it equal to zero there, which makes sense. Okay, yeah, that makes perfect sense. All right, making progress. I like it. Things are a lot more tidy now, and I like it. Boys, we didn't much time. I'm stuck inside a video saying the same thing over and over again. Hi, my name is Thomas Randall, and I'm here to tell you about the benefits of becoming a member on my website. Aside from supporting yours truly and helping to hire new team members to pump out the game more quicker and effectively, you'll also get access to all the source code for my game. Don't go stealing it now. I mean, what are you gonna do? Make it for me? you also get access to Rando's Digital Garden, which is a second brain run in Obsidian.md. It's a long story, just pause the video if you want to learn more. you also get access to the Crack Den, which is our lovely little Discord community. There's a bunch of cool stuff in there. Nice. 
And last but not least, for the time being anyway, you'll get the randy.gg monospace font to use in your code editors. Or just wherever else you want to use it, I guess. If any of that tickles your pickle, you can actually get a free membership if you have an Amazon Prime account. Just follow the directions over at randy.gg slash prime, link in the description. That'll give me a free $2.50 US per month if you keep on renewing it, all thanks to Daddy Jeff. If you don't have a Prime account though, but would still like to support me, it's four US dollars per month to join up. And I'm trying to make it as worthwhile as possible every single day by growing this little community of ours and adding new stuff to it. Just type randy.gg into your browser of choice or follow the link down in the description. Boys, we don't have much time. I'm stuck inside a video saying the same thing over and over again. Oh, fuck. So basically what I've done is I've rented out each of these joints just via their position here, right? This is all I've called to render out the joints, which before it would have looked a lot uglier, but I've just kind of abstracted that away for now. It's not the best abstracting, but I just don't like looking at it. So it can fuck off. <laughs> So yeah, now with that, I think I can do a bunch of matrix algebra to kind of get what I need out of fabric and do this entire thing right here. Yep, so the way that I'm actually setting the end joint right now is just by directly plugging in the screen vector, which is, you know, the screen position into the translation. But I'd like to set it via this matrix up here. So I need to figure out how to do that. So that's what I have to do. It shouldn't be too difficult. I'm just gonna need to extract the quaternion from the matrix and the translation will be easy as hell. But I'm thinking that should give me what I want. Oh, that was a lot of brain power. That took a lot out of me. That was one and a half hours, which, you know, ideally I would be stopping here and having a break now, but I think I'm just gonna power through, have a little 10 minute breather. I tell you what, I would love to integrate this entire, you know, markdown second brain thing in with four coder so that I can just access it in here. That'd be so good. Then I could easily access this and store it in the brain as well because you know this is something that would technically get stored there so that would be really good to have that kind of integration essentially create a markdown editor in four coder which would be really cool i think vim has something similar but the, literally the only thing i'd need to do is obviously you know do the formatting properly but i would just have to implement these which would be very easy so i think that's definitely on the to-do list for uh the sigma energy manifestation environment notepad i should probably get back to work but my brain still feels kind of melty i would just sit here in silence recharge I think the best solution to this problem is to just end stream and come back. But that's kind of a bitch move, you know? See how your workouts were <laughs> with your dad? I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. My gym membership, it ended about a month and a bit ago. And ever since, I have not been working out at all. I bought some resistance bands the other day, but they're just sitting on my floor taunting me. I haven't touched them either. So I really need to get into a good workout routine. I bought the resistance bands and I packed it in my bag for when I went on holidays didn't use them once, but that's the idea of it, you know, like a nice little lightweight little workout, right? So I need to get into a good workout routine. But at the same time, I just need to stop being a bitch. I'll let you know how it goes though. I think I'm gonna start off with running just cause it's better than nothing. Get some endurance going and then take it from there. All right, there's no point pushing past the one and a half hour mark. I'm just gonna stop. We're gonna be back for session two and we're gonna tackle the rest of this because there's really no point trying to program when I'm all fucking not, not, I am I am the anti-smart right now. Thanks for tuning into the stream. I'll see you when I see you, if I don't see you in a few hours. So I might not even be on tonight. I might literally just not have the motivation to start stream again and end up not doing another session, which, you know, is probably what's going to end up happening here. I guess we'll see. See you guys later. Peace.